So as an electrical engineering PhD student, an electrical engineer, um, there's only one regret I really have about my engineering journey. And I remember at the time when I was an undergrad in electrical engineering and I was going through process, in the back of my head, I would think that I don't want to regret not trying. I don't want to regret not having put in the work. I don't want to regret not having given it my best shot. And in the back of my head at the time, that was really the only possible regret. Is the regret of not getting what you want because you didn't give it your all. And that way of thinking was actually quite good because it pushed me to get the things I needed to get done. To give you some context, I'm almost finishing up my PhD in electrical engineering. I've done, I think, six or seven electrical engineering internships. Two of them were at NASA. One was at the NASA Kennedy Space Center. One was at the NASA Chuck Propulsion Lab. I've published many research papers. I've studied abroad, taught English abroad, and tutor taught, and I'm currently I'm a teaching professor at Xavier University. So I was able to achieve many of the things that, in the back of my mind, as an undergrad, I was worried I would not achieve. And this is where my actual regret comes in. There's, again, one regret, and that is the regret of not having enjoyed the journey enough. Now, don't get me wrong. The journey was quite enjoyable. I mean, a lot of times in my undergrad, I spent a lot of time meeting amazing people and taking a lot of electives and exploring things and doing things kind of unconventionally and exploring and traveling. I mean, I've been to 26 countries. So it's not like I did not enjoy the ride. I quite did. But the thing that I wish I could go back and change is to change my mindset around fear. And it was this constant stress and fear I had from my freshman year and through my junior year, where I would just wake up every day in paranoia that like, oh my God, what if I don't figure things out? What if things don't work out? And I pretty much spent a big chunk of my undergrad in this very high fear, high stress state. And you might argue that, okay, yeah, that fa fear and paranoia is the reason that you were able to take the massive action and get the internships and do the things right and learn efficiently. And also I was like laser focused. I mean, I was just laser focused every single day on engineering, on what I wanted to do. And I was very good at managing distractions. Luckily that school I went to, the parties were not very good. And it was like brutally cold. It was like snowing every winter. So you just had no option but to sit down inside and do the work. But still now when I observe how I operate, I operate with a lot less fear and paranoia, but I still get things done. If anything, I get more more things done right now. That's because there's not as much fear and stress about, oh my God, am I going to make it? Is everything going to work out? Uh, it's replaced with more serenity of I'm doing the right things. And okay, if things work out, great. If things don't work out, that's okay, because I've at least given it my best shot. And if I were to go back, the only thing I would change is these little things that the late nights where you're just stressing for hours on whether you're going to do well on the exam or whether you're going to get the internship or whether you're going to do whether you did well on that interview, the hours of stressing over the things that you cannot control. To me, that's not very productive and it's not very good. And I ended up wasting a lot of mental energy just stressing and just being concerned over, oh my God, are things going to work out? And this may be something you're experiencing. Like you might be, I don't know, like either picking your major or applying for an internship or figuring out what to do. And there is stress over, oh my God, is this going to work out? Is this, what if it doesn't work out? And, and you may spend some decent amount of time stressing over whether it's going to work out or not. But the, the paradox here is that the hours, even minutes spent stressing, it's not just a matter of time, it's a matter of mental energy. Like it exhausts it, it tires you like doing that does absolutely nothing towards either like achieving your goal or helping you acquire more skills or making you feel good about yourself it's just not a very productive thing at all um like worrying in general is not very productive and in fact i have a book right here somewhere it's called how to stop worrying and start living by dale carnegie i read that a while back and that was a really good book because it was like talking about the simple thing of just worrying only about the things that you can control and because you can control it you should take action on it immediately and things that you cannot control you can just ask yourself okay what's the worst that's gonna happen i'm still gonna be alive i'm still gonna have my needs met i have food and i have like a roof on over my head and when you think of it that way the worry just kind of dissipates and, and when the worry dissipates you remove all that excess energy and, and attachment they attribute to the thing that you're worrying about and you free yourself to just go and take like imperfect actions do the work because at the end of the day like having a vision of what you want to do and doing the work increases the odds of you getting there uh, but worrying does nothing to achieve that so i want to keep this video short because it's a very straightforward concept but if i were to go back in time the only thing i regret or I would change is I would just try to like worry less. I would try to think very clearly about any situation that I'm worried about and say, okay, is this something I can control? Great. What action can I take to lower the odds of me failing or not getting what I want? Is it something I cannot control? Okay. Then why am I worrying about it? And I wish I just had that mental model in the back of my head every single night during undergrad, especially freshman through junior year. I think that would have saved me a lot of stress and ironically would have helped me probably enjoy and, and achieve more, not achieve in the sense of like cheat, but like, like just get more things done. So yeah, funny enough, this is really the only regret everything else i'm very happy with i'm very happy with all the actions i took even though a lot of them were intuition based and made no sense at the time I'm very happy with a lot of things i've done and i'm very happy with all the people i met all the people that taught me things and i owe debt for all the people who taught me things this is why i make these videos it's not an option I, it's a responsibility um, because i have so much information sitting in my brain because of all the people i met who taught me things and if i don't propagate that information back to other people um, then i'm just kind of hoarding it and that's not good
But yeah, that being said, I hope you're not worrying and I hope instead you are either learning, producing, relaxing, or having fun. Peace, love.